Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to change the impeller. This is what the impeller will look like. The impeller pumps water, salt water, through the engine to cool it down. If the impeller goes dry, these little splines break off, go into the engine, no water goes through the engine and then it starts to overheat. So the first thing we do is switch off the salt water intake. Then we're going to undo all these screws, we're going to pull the old impeller out, put the new one in. There is a special tool that you can get to pull these off, it's pretty expensive. Most people will use a screwdriver and a pair of pliers, gently pulling the impeller out. All right, now we're ready to put in the new uh, impeller. What we will have is we'll have two pieces. We'll have the impeller and we'll have an O-ring. It's very important to put the O-ring, which is a seal. Depending on what engine it is, some will have a gasket or some will have a rubber O-ring. Once that's in, we get the impeller and we gently put it in, twisting the little paws over to one side so it fits in snugly. Push it in firmly, clean the outside because we need to get a perfect seal so no air or water will escape. Once we've got that, we put the cover back on, put it back, line up the holes, start putting the screws back in. Once we've got the screws all in, we tighten up the bolts, starting at one side, working our way around, giving it gentle turns. Once we have everything tight on, we put the C cock back onto the on position, so when we're ready to fire up, we've got water going through the system. 